Welcome to another tutorial on Scenerella, video editing uh, open source software for Linux. Uh, and today we're going to I'm going to show you how to uh, import uh, titles that we've created in GIMP. Uh, Scenerella does have its own little titler program for putting in text, but I find this way to be very simple and you can get very creative with it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to GIMP, which is installed in most distributions of Linux, and most of you who use Linux are familiar with it. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new file and we're going to give it the width of 720 and the height of 480 which is the default for most video but uh, make it whatever resolution your video project is set to but most likely that's what it's going to be and we're going to select under advanced options fill with transparency by default it probably has background color selected but make sure you pick transparency and it's created this uh, blank image for us uh, so I'm going to maximize that and then I'm going to click our rectangular tool here and I'm just going to draw a rectangle right there. And now we're going to select some colors that we want. I'm going to select this dark red, and then I'm going to select our background color here and select our light red. So we got these two colors, and now I'm going to go to our uh, blending tool here. And I'm just going to drag a straight line across there, and we got this nice faded color. Now I'm going to go up to select, and I'm going to do a border select, which is going to take the selection we've already created and select the border at whether, whether, whatever pixel uh, width we've chosen. Default is 5 and I think that will be fine for this. Once again I'm doing a very simple design. You can be more creative with this. But now that we have that selected with the same uh, blending tool I'm going to just go the other way. So now you can see that we've got this nice little box here. Uh, now I'm going to go back to the main GIMP window and go down the logos. And GIMP has uh, many of these preset logos here. I'm going to choose one. I'll choose this basic uh, two, and I'll just in here I'll type in my video. I've already typed it once. It remembers what I typed. And I'm going to lower the pixel, uh, the font pixel width uh, down to 100. Uh, you can always resize it afterwards, but uh, you can just play around with these options so you get what you want. So now that I've done that, I've got this nice little new picture that says my video, and it's got four layers on it. The background layer is white. We're going to select that and delete that because we want a transparent background. Now uh, we still have three layers. I'm going to right click on any of them and select merge visible layers. Uh, then I'll just click merge, and now we have one layer uh, that was created from those three layers. I'm going to do a control A to select all, and then I'm going to control C to copy. I'm going to select on the image we created. I'm going to press Control V to paste. I'm going to choose uh, the M key to move, or you can obviously choose your little move icon here. I'm going to drag that right down to here. Right now we have a floating layer and a background layer. I'm going to right click on the floating layer, make it a new layer. Then I'm going to choose my background layer, and I'm going to change uh, the opacity down here. Uh, to make the background a little more transparent. In fact, I've decided that I don't want red letters and red uh, background, so I'm going to select our pasted layer, which is our words. I'm going to go up to Colors and Hues, and I'm just going to move the hue over till I get a color I like. I'll just pick that green right there. So this is great. We have this great little title we created, so now we're just going to save it. I'm going to save as, I'll call it, Title, and this part's important. You want to save it as a PNG. Uh, and the reason for that is because we have the transparent background. Uh, go ahead, click Save, click Export, and click Save. Uh, if you save it as a JPEG, you're going to lose this transparent background. It's going to give you a white background. That is not what we want. Uh, and PNG is great because Scenerella accepts those. So we're going to go back into Scenerella here. We're going to File, New. Make sure you have your settings set up for how you want it. I'm doing a widescreen video here with stereo audio. Now I'm going to hit O to open a file, and I'm going to go to a file I already have saved from previous tutorials. And I'm going to select uh, Replace Current Project, and that imports that video like that. Now I'm going to hit Shift T, which creates a new video track for us. I'm going to turn off uh, these little red icons for each of these tracks. So right now we're only working with this top blank track. And we're going to go into Settings, Preferences. Now, I've already changed this for myself. By default, when you import still images into Scenerella, it imports them as one frame. So that's 30 frames a second. 
they'll be port importing in actually 29.97. Uh, but we're going to check this box to, box to import images with a duration of five seconds or however many seconds you want. That's underneath the record tab here. Click apply and click OK. Then we'll click O to import uh, a new file. We're going to go to wherever you saved that image file from GIMP, which I named title PNG. I'm going to select that and I'm going to paste that insertion point. So it's going to insert it where this line is and on the track that I have the recording light on. And I'm going to click check and there we go. We have our little title down here at the bottom. Now we can do a slider and we can add that transition. So now our title slides in and then slides out. Uh, so that's how you import titles. Superimposing there. You also notice that the red is still semi-transparent because that's how we made it in GIMP and you can do a lot of uh, neat superimposing uh, in Cinerella this way which I'll get to in later tutorials. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. At this point you can hit Shift R to render and uh, you can have it replace the current project or insert nothing and just save a file. So that's a neat way to do some fancy titles. Obviously you can do fancier than I just created uh, but relatively easy, especially if you're familiar with GIMP. And uh, if not, just play around with GIMP. It's uh, pretty easy to use. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Filmsbychris.com. Please visit it for more uh, videos and tutorials and files on open source media. So that's creating images, music, and videos. Filmsbychris.com. Have a great day.